Yes, and welcome back to another episode with me, Luke. So I'm just at work, so it's going to be a very quick uh, update on the Bitcoin price. Um, so we're going to jump straight into the charts right now, and then we're going to go over into the altcoins and see what's happening over over there. Okay, so just jumping straight into the chart. So again, if you were uh, watching and you were with me on this trade, then you would have uh, hit this uh, price target that I gave from this uh, bear flag. So I mean, this. Uh, bear flag played out really really well um, some people in the comments I appreciate uh, the comments uh, saying uh, well done um, for this it was a, a good call but I mean when you just do some basic I'm, I'm not nobody special when you do basic technical analysis anybody uh, can call a pattern uh, like this so you don't have to be uh, a Superman in uh, crypto this is just a very basic um, technical analysis looking at this bear pattern and again, nothing is 100%, so this could have gone wrong, we could have gone up uh, instead, but thankfully um, we did uh, hit this price target for those that were trading uh, this. So even when the price is going down in Bitcoin, you can still make money, uh, which is the beauty of trading. So again, congratulations to those that took this trade. Personally, I didn't take this trade uh, because I don't do short-term trading, but if you did, then uh, really good job you would have made a nice eight percent seven eight percent on this again if you're using uh, leverage then 10x you can make a nice uh, 75 80 percent so hopefully you did that hopefully you've taken some profits off the table because uh, we have over the last uh, two days or over yesterday I should say uh, going into today we have bounced uh, back up so we're currently uh, we came back into the forty thousand dollar level so what does this mean do you, does this mean that we're going straight back up to 42 and, and above personally I don't think so again if you just look at this pattern you can see that it's like a, a step down another step down and we're probably going to roll over uh, again so uh, don't expect us to shoot back up uh, anytime soon again it's a possibility Bitcoin does what it wants um, but I still um, hold on to the point, like I mentioned in my video yesterday, that we'll probably come back down and retest 37 around these um, these areas just here. Let me just uh, highlight this. So this area here. So anywhere in here, this would be what around the 36, 37k uh, area. So I, I do expect us to roll back over. So again, if you're short short term trading, do exactly the same thing. We have on the daily this uh, potential um, bear flag, as you can see. So we have the two points here. It's not the best drawing, but you, you get the idea. And then we have it from here. And if we take this, this would give us a price target of approximately 37,500. So again, if you want to trade this, just wait for the initial uh, breakdown like I did here. So you don't want to uh, just guess that we're going back down. We could go up, but just wait for this trend to be broken with some confirmation like we did here. So again, we came down uh, below the support here and confirmed took that trade and and rode it down so it's exactly what you could do if you're going to do a short so just wait for that short around the 30 39500 level make sure you put your stop loss at like one percent so that if it does reverse you don't get you don't lose all your money and this would be a risk to reward of a five to one risk to reward ratio so there's a nice little trade there if uh, again if you're doing short I'm not going to trade this and again it's not financial advice you need to do your own research do your own TA look at some of these uh, chart patterns uh, you can do that on the internet okay so just a, a quick <clears throat> excuse me just a quick um, short term trader there if you want to take that um, personally I'm not going to bother but I'm going to wait for those lower price uh, targets so do you know what? I'm going to keep that there for now, see what happens um, in the short term. So just going over to the weekly, I like to look at the bigger picture. So again, if you've been watching my videos, uh, I drew the Fibonacci retracement and I do believe that we're going to probably have a huge sell-off down to the $30,000 level, uh, anywhere between the 25 and 30 k I think we will come back down 
to these uh, levels here and get a bounce off uh, just before that halving and then off to the races. So yeah, let's see. But I do, I do think we are coming back down to these levels, maybe even the 25K. I'd be really surprised if we come back down to the 20. Uh, it could, could happen. We have a CME gap down here as well. And speaking of CME gaps, just going back to the daily, I don't know if you've noticed, but I completely forgot about, about it. The CME gap that I've been mentioning in previous videos, if, you could, if I just zoom in, it's been completely filled. So this uh, bear flag that played out with our short-term trade, it actually not only uh, we filled this one, but we came and we filled the one that we set back in December. So this has been filled yet again, nine, eight, nine times out of 10, like I mentioned before, CME gaps tend to get filled and this, it doesn't happen straight away. It, this one took uh, about almost a month, month and a half, uh, to to get filled. So again, we can see see me up got filled. So just uh, going back to the weekly, I think we do have a CME gap uh, all the way down. Before I go back to the weekly, what am I doing? Before I go back to the weekly, let's just see. We have one down at the twenty nineteen nineteen thousand. But I mean, it looks like it's been filled up pretty much but yeah some some people are still calling for the whole thing to get filled because it technically didn't completely fill maybe like 10 20 percent but I'd be surprised now if we if we do um, fill that up back down at 19 uh, 20 thousand let's just get rid of this there we go so let's just go back to the weekly and I just want to highlight could there be a possibility of a gigantic cup and handle formation pattern right now. So what is a cup and handle? Well, I'm going to bring that out in another video, but right now I'm seeing on the daily, on the weekly especially, um, a huge cup that has formed and a potential handle that is uh, being formed, uh, potentially being formed right now. So I'm not going to bring that out right now. It's just a quick update on the Bitcoin price. You'll have to wait and see my um, technicals on that cup and handle potential pattern and the price targets. If you're familiar with a cup and handle pattern, then go ahead, you can price that in, you can see the targets. But tomorrow or on uh, Friday, I will uh, bring out uh, that uh, pattern and that price prediction um, in another uh, video. So thanks guys and girls for watching. Thanks for your comments as well. Somebody asked me about Gala Games. They want to know what my potential price target will be on Gala Games. So I'm going to do another video looking at Gala, the potential, and uh, to give a, a rough uh, estimation. So I'm just taking my time, just looking at it um, objectively, and then I'll give you my uh, price target for Gala Games. Because I did mention that I think Gala Games, in my opinion, will go back to its uh, last all-time high, um, but I didn't give a price prediction for the next uh, cycle. So. Uh, keep up to date with that. Uh, I will keep you up to date with that for sure. Uh, again, smash up the like button. Leave any comments in the section below if there's an altcoin that you want me to talk about in crypto gaming or AI, and I'll be happy uh, to do so. So guys and girls, have a great day, and I will see you next time.